Hello, I'm Jason from Rosebud, and today I'm going to show you around our interface to help you get started with making Rosebud projects. It's as simple as our three steps, prompt, publish, play. Let's get started. When you get to the platform, this is what you'll see. This is the home page. Rosebud is split into two major sections, the home section and your My Projects section. The home page is where you can see the trending projects from other users and templates. In the My Projects section, you can see your username, which you can change, and all the projects you've worked on so far. When you find a project that interests you, click the play button to try out the game directly and hit the full screen mode. This allows you to experience the game as it was designed by its creator. If you want to take it a step further, you can click the clone button. This will create a copy of the project in your My Project section, where you can edit and customize it to your liking. This is a great way to learn and experiment with different ideas. At the top, we have easy access to the FAQ where you can find top tips and tutorials. If you ever need help, this is a great place to start. Next, we have our Discord button. Joining our Discord server is the best place to get help on your projects, share ideas, and collaborate with other users. For any assistance, go to the Rosebud support channel. Here's our trending section showcasing the top projects from other users. Sharing your game on Discord can get it featured here. Below that, we have our AI character section and game templates, which are key for creating your own projects. But before we do that, let's log in. Click the login button at the top right, sign in with your Google account, and you're ready to start creating. Now let's get started creating a project. This is the creation interface. Over here, we have our game window where you'll see a preview of your game. The chat tab is where you'll spend most of your time. It's where you'll write your prompts to Rosie, our AI to generate code for your game. The code tab shows the code running in your game. Rosie will add and modify code here based on your prompts and you can make manual edits as well. The asset tab is where you generate assets for your games. Select the style and enter what you want to generate. To have a better preview of your game, hit the full screen button. Now let's talk about the apply and reload buttons. After you make changes or add new assets, you'll need to apply these changes by hitting the Apply button. This will update your project with the new code or assets. Once applied, the Reload button will become active. Click the Reload button to see the updates in your game window. This ensures all your changes are correctly implemented and visible in the preview. Once you're ready to share your project, head over to the Publish button. Here you can change the title, set a thumbnail, and write a description for your game. Choose a good thumbnail to get attention for your game and write a description to explain what it is. Finally, hit Publish. You'll get a link to share your project. Anyone can play your game using this link even without signing up. That's everything for this quick introduction to the Rosebud interface. If you have any questions, head over to our Discord. We're excited to see what you create. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.